Sonicky Buck. Uh, hello. There we go. Brilliant. I have a curious, cuddly, cute face. Hey, little one. Oh, you've got to love these little creatures, huh? Nice shady spot. Actually, it'll be nice and cool down there still. Just the, the shade will make a big difference. Just, uh, if you're sitting in the sunlight, that it's getting warm now. And this is one of the two younger ones. It's not notch. Just have a look at the left ear there quickly, Emma. The, the Sorry, the Ahina's left ear. All right. Oh, of course. So let's see if it... Actually, you can see better with the camera than with the naked eye. No, no notch there. This is the other young one. Hello Bernice, also on drive with us. Just a welcome again to, to everyone on drive. If you've just joined us in the last few minutes or maybe just walking by or maybe you've been sitting with us since before 8 o'clock. Nice to have you with us. Bernice was just saying, waiting for the Saina to come up and pull something off the vehicle. I do that sometimes. They're very curious. They come up and they sniff and... <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to frog in my throat. Um, sniff the vehicle and sort of nibble on the tires and the bull bar and different sides of things and just again curious about this they've now learned from day one from when they could walk around and look around outside they've seen the adults don't mind the vehicle and in fact they don't even mind the young ones coming close and so if there was an elephant around then the adults wouldn't mind the elephant too much until it came closer then they might actually warn the young ones to, to give it a bit of space but they're learning that with the vehicle there's obviously no threat because mum never tells us not to go there. So it's a curiosity for them. Part of the environment the same way as the termite mine that houses the den or the trees that are blowing in the breeze are. It's just all part of their environment. Well, Betts was just asking where's mum and I think we'll answer that question in the next little while we're going to sit here for a while just see what these hyenas well hyena might be others in there that they might get up to but yeah the adults I don't think are, are close by to be honest but just from a behavioral point again the, the fact that this little one is staying close to the den not even venturing out to us it suggests that there's no adults close by also typically if the adults were close by they wouldn't actually go into the den they do sometimes but typically they don't they would actually be lying around somewhere out here we would have seen them on the road or one of these open patches in the dust having a lazy Sunday morning snooze so the fact that this little one is staying close by suggests that the adults aren't here the reason they're not here could be a variety of reasons but the most likely one is that there's a big carcass somewhere maybe the stick's pride killed something last night at some stage we don't know about or some other pride of lions further out these ahinas do cover a large area or maybe they've even killed their own prey and they're busy feeding on that or sleeping it off somewhere and they might return during the course of the morning at any second now it's not impossible that an adult walks up here and arrives here or otherwise they'll return tonight after dark it's one of the benefits of having a good den like this is that they can leave the youngsters it's totally safe if anything arrives you know a leopard or a lion or anything that's a potential threat to that hyena cub it can run down into the den and disappear into the sort of smaller tunnels in the belly of it 
hundred percent safe. Nice and baking sun, eh? Sure. If you wake me up, Adam, I'm just going to take a little snooze if adults arrive or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, but it's just such a lovely, lazy morning. Perfect weather. You can see, eh, they're still very curious. Even even if their head's not moving, the eyes are busy all the time. Oh, Hammond, you're going to see in the next, by tonight maybe. Going to be amazed at how, how curious they are. I've, I've never seen this, and I've, I've known this back of hyenas since, well, years ago when I was guiding here as well. Um, this is not a den I've ever seen before, and I don't think the guys from Juma either. But they have the same group that denned up on Cheetah Cut Line. In fact, when we were looking at them around November, December, that group, you saw them still, though. Mm. Um, I was looking at photos the other day, the other young one, the other one that's the same age as this one, or the same size as this one. Um, I'm calling it Notch. Got a little notch in the left ear, and it's had that notch since it was a little one, since it was a little one without spots still. Point being, it's the same, the same um, pack, the same clan, but I've never seen so many of them together, and we've seen them regularly now, when we come here at night, even in daytime sometimes, and there's ten of them together. 